All right, what's going on? So it's been a little bit between the last video and this video. Now, not that any of you have asked, but I'm gonna update you on what I have been doing. Number one, just work as much as I can. Just the usual sort of thing, you know? Then we'll go number two, which is my gym. Been going as much as I can. Again, just whether it's morning, nights, afternoons, as much as work sort of allows me and when I get off my ass. Third thing would be the website. So I've just been working that on the background, giving that a bit of a new look, adding new text, taking stuff away, you know, the whole shebang sort of thing. So that should be coming soon or be going live soon. Um, I've added the half half hoodies in there, but I still have not done a photo shoot with the half half hoodies. Um, so what I've ended up doing for now to at least get them on the website is I've done like flat lay photos. Um, just to put something in there. So again, I still got to hold myself accountable and get those photo shoots done, but uh, hopefully sooner than later, but I'm not going to give a specific date on that because at this point, I haven't got them done. <laughs> Number four would be, I went to Egypt for 10 days. Um, I went for basically my birthday slash holiday. So that was really good. Went with um, one of my best mates. So that was just amazing. Um, all I can say is if you have Egypt on your bucket list, go, just go. It's got some of the best scenery I have ever seen and like it's just a great experience I mean I got to see the pyramids the sphinx the museums the temples the red sea the nile it's it's just amazing I also got to jump into the nile got to jump into the uh, red sea um, snorkeled in the red sea it's just so much oh rode a camel around the pyramids so many good things. What I'll do without sort of cutting that short, I'll uh, actually chuck in a couple of clips that I reckon are some of the best. And like I said, you'll just see the scenery. thing is I did go and get half my leg tattooed so that is actually at this point in time filming I still got one more session to go to finish and do all the uh, fill in basically so before I maybe show that directly I'll go get that filled in and then hopefully within the next couple of videos I can show you it all but I won't show you it just yet you might see it in the video but I won't talk about it too much that's basically everything besides you know just normal life but today's video is not about any one of those things in particular. That was just a little update, as I said. But today's video is about wireless mics because I finally went out and bought some. I've been looking at these wireless mics for a while now. I've been you know, watching so many YouTube videos, been reading up as much as I can. And it's all confusing because it's one of those things where you just kind of have to get it and test it. And I had no one that had them, so I couldn't really test them off it. So I wasn't sure and blah, blah, blah. But today is the day I got them. So... I think it's only right to show you guys because I can I can I can just hear you guys are asking which ones did I get. Bam, Rode Wireless Pro. So got these bad boys in the end. Um, haven't even unboxed them yet, so we're going to be doing that soon. As you can see, like all the security tags and everything are on them. But um, yeah, ended up going these because I don't know, just felt like these were maybe the better ones than the DJI's. Um, did end up getting these from JB Hi-Fi and spoke to the bloke there. He was really helpful. He told me a few things and he sort of said that these would probably be the better ones overall. Um, but it just depends what you like. But I just ended up biting the bullet because um, I found another website or another store that had them cheaper than what JV were. So JV matched them. So it just made it even more sense to kind of finally get them. Um, but yeah, got to test them out still because at the moment, you know, the camera is over there and I'm here. It's a bit of a distance. I kind of have to you know, uh, I suppose speak up a little bit more to make sure the uh, camera gets it. But yeah, anyway, let's stop uh, rambling and I reckon let's just unbox it. <laughs> Now that I've unboxed it all, yeah, so quick interruption, um, as you can see, clearly didn't unbox it. Don't really know where the footage went, but uh, we shall continue. Well, I'm going to give you a closer look what you actually get in the pack, so let's spin it around. And this is everything you get in the pack. So 
you obviously get a case with your two receivers in your little control center. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it anyway. I apologize if that is wrong. Uh, yeah, it's me again. You are wrong. It's actually two transmitters and one receiver. But anyway, continue. Uh, then you get your other little case here. It's got a few cords in it. And then also in the bottom of this, uh, the fluffies were in it. And then these cords were also in it. Uh, looks like we get like a microfiber, I'm guessing. Um, also couple of these, um, I forgot what they are, I think it's the lavender mics, like the top of them, and obviously um, some instructions. So that's everything uh, you get in the wireless pro pack. That's great success, because everything was in the box. But the big question is, how much of a difference is it going to make? Now, I think it's gonna be a little bit hard to test it just necessarily in the room, but I think I've got enough space in here to, you know, at least uh, get an idea of it. Now, before I actually set up the mics, or try to anyway, I'm going to do this test first. So I currently got the tripod set up in the corner there. And then as you can see, you know, that's the end of the room or the other corner of the room. Now I'm going to try and keep my voice pretty consistent as I move back. But I really just want to see, you know, obviously how it picks up. Yeah, and then obviously with the mic. So here I'm probably like a meter away from the camera. Um, can't really go in the middle of the room because obviously there's a pool table. Um, so maybe I'll just go over here and then stick my head in the middle. So just like... Hello, how are you guys going? You know, I wonder what that's picking up. Check out and obviously edit. Then I'll come over here. I don't know how much you guys can hear me from here. Um, and then if we go, let's say right in the corner, um, I believe I've kept my voice pretty consistent throughout. So I'm wondering what it'll sound like from here. Now, I'm not sure if you can hear me too well from in that corner, but as I was saying, now we've got that little audio test done. I think it's time to go to get this all set up have the tripod in the exact same spot and then obviously have the mics on and do the exact same sort of walkthrough and uh, really compare the audios. Not sure if you guys can see, but currently I do have one of the mics just on top of my jumper here and I've actually got the receiver just sitting on top of the camera over there in the corner. Now, as I was saying before with the first test of just my voice, we'll do the same sort of thing. So I'll move forward in a moment. I'll do one here and then I'll do one in the corner. But then to really test it and see if I've actually got it working properly is I'm gonna walk um, around or outside and go to the backyard and I'm gonna see um, if it picks up the audio from out there. But before we do that, let's get on with the uh, first three little tests here. I think this is pretty similar to where I was in the first part, uh, roughly about a meter away from where the camera is. Um, so hopefully the audio is picking up pretty good here. Obviously I don't know until I watch it back. So uh, let's see, now let's move over a bit more into the middle of the pool table. I believe I did something like this, so we'll see what happens. But again, hopefully it's picking up very clearly and you know, hopefully it's coming out nice. Now if we um, go to the back here, I'm gonna lower my voice a little bit, obviously for me, but um, I'm gonna see if this sort of picks it up because right now I'm actually kind of talking really low. Um, so hopefully when I watch it back, the audio is actually coming up very high. Um, if not, you can only assume I'm not going to be using the audio. So if it's good, that's what you're going to be watching. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the camera at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm still whispering here in the corner, and that's just so when I edit, I can see if it really picks it up or not. But as I was saying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out of this room, go out in the backyard, and hopefully you'll see me uh, just behind this window in a moment. And you know, hopefully also hear the audio. So um, I'm going to walk now. I'm going to sort of stop whispering because I'm coming closer now but I'm actually out of frame as of now and you guys shouldn't be able to obviously see me but I'm still talking so currently I'm just going to go unlock a door to get out the back you should be able to hear that quite clearly actually going to open both doors now currently I'm outside so hopefully you guys can hear me I'm not talking too loud outside just pretty casual now you guys should be seeing me in about three, two, one. Hello. I might have mistimed that. And there's a crow, a crow. Ah, oh, they're so annoying. But hopefully if the audio has actually worked out well, you can hear me even though I'm out here. And again, if you're seeing this, then obviously it's worked out well because I've put it in the video. If it's failed, you wouldn't even be saying it, let's be honest. But if this works, that's pretty cool. Because realistically, you wouldn't be able to see me now but you can hear me, Ooh. but then ready? You can see me in three, two, one. Anyway, I think it's time to go back around and back into the room. It's a little bit cold out here, so bye.
They will be appearing in three, two, one. Hello. So now that I've finished my little test, one thing I did notice during the editing was that the volume fluctuated a fair bit, but I'm gonna put that down to myself because I think my tone was going up and down uh, throughout the, um, what do you call it, the recording. So whether I was outside or inside, I didn't really keep as consistent voice as I thought. So it's not really a big problem because I could also just bump up the volume in the edit, but I don't wanna do that because then if let's say you're watching one part of the video and it's got good volume and then I just crank up the next or it's too low and you go bump it up and then it gets to another point. And like, it's just too much. So what I've done is I've just left it as normal. I will say I probably wanna do a little bit more testing with the range and some outdoor settings and maybe like in the car, but I'll get to that. And I also wanna do a little bit more testing with a fluffy on it. And to put it in summary, really good product, really happy with it. So I'll be using it as much as I can. I'll be honest, this video probably should have been finished a little bit ago but you wouldn't believe it, but I actually went over to Florida in between all this. So that's another reason this one took a little bit. Also, I just wanna say, I don't know if you guys noticed anything particular or maybe in the background that was new, which means another video is coming soon.